good morning children this is sumati your social studies teacher and welcome you for chapter 3 part 2 that is earth movements and seasons on the uh, in the part 1 we studied about the the seasonal changes are occurring how it's going on uh, why the what is the reason we have to learn one of the tree different seasons different way it is means one of the season it is sprouting another season it is totally deciduous that means all the leaves are shedding down and another season it is snowing another season other different factors we are finding so these are all how we are getting what are the main reasons actually from thousands of years men uh, totally many of the people have different opinions about this and they also have that uh, uh, thinking about that uh, why it is totally warm some of the months why it is totally cold in the some of the months why northern hemisphere is one type of climatic conditions again in the southern hemisphere another type at the same time this all changes they have lot of doubts so here to understand this the complex interaction this between several factors we have to learn that is the four factors are there one is the spherical shape of the earth and the curvature of its surface already we have studied that we know that the earth is the spherical shape and uh, as per the curve the temperature depends upon you know that you have studied in the second chapter and daily rotation of the earth on its own axis in the fifth class you have studied that earth has two movements one is rotation another one is revolution and uh, daily the earth is rotating and that also on its own axis axis means you know that one of the imaginary line which is connecting north pole to south pole and the tilt of the axis the tilt of the axis that is rotation compared to the plane on which the earth moves actually the earth is a spherical shape at the same time the axis whatever it is connected from the north to south is some portion is tilting that means some part bending so that tilting position also main reason for the movement of the earth or the day and nights or the seasons whatever it is causing and the earth movement around the sun once a year that is revolution that means the sun is moving around the sun sorry the earth is moving around the sun once a year that is called a revolution now let us see curvature of the earth the spherical shape of the earth causes a different distribution of heat over the earth's surface here you uh, last uh, previous uh, class uh, lesson we studied that angle of incidence that means where the equator is uh, area bulgy so here the sun's rays gets straight that means 90 degrees angle the straight forward and as we are going to towards the north pole and the south pole the temperature reduces because the angle of incidence is slanting the angle of the rays is slanting because of that reason it decreases so because of that reason the because of the spherical shape or the curvature of the earth these changes we can find it and uh, as uh, earth next one earth's rotation on its axis the earth rotates or goes around just like a top spin suppose you take a ball and you keep it on your finger tip uh, it while it is rotating you can see that the center portion of that ball is not at all rotating the other proportion is rotating totally that is the top spin even top you will play now the center portion is totally stable the other proportion whatever it is there the total other portion is rotating same like that the earth also rotating but the whatever the imaginary line it is making the that to rotate is axis it actually rotates around an imaginary line which joins the north pole and the south pole 
so the imaginary line which is joining from the north pole to south pole is called an axis and this line is called the axis of the earth's rotation you can see this the next picture this one this is actually connecting an imaginary line from the north pole to south pole actually it should be straight but earth is slanting that means little bit it's bent already we studied this that's why the all the changes are going on on the earth whatever it is uh, uh, day and nights are the seasonal changes because of this slanting only is going on and this is north pole this is south pole and as per this the earth is rotating this is the base point for the rotation and the for one rotation the earth takes 24 hours or one day so the earth is rotating once from west to east always earth is rotating from west to east that you remember okay so that one movement of the earth it takes 24 hours or one day that means day and night together 24 hours and exactly to say that it takes 23 hours 56 minutes 4.09 seconds means some proportion of the time is balance okay that we will study later in the next topic okay and the earth is moving from west to east already we studied and that movement actually how much speed it is moving it is moving 1,7200 kilometers per hour the earth is moving from west to east at the speed of 1,7200 kilometers per hour and the you know that the sun the moon and the stars appear to rise in the east actually we feel that always if you see that sun is rising in the east even moon also stars also we feel that because the earth is moving from west to east at that time all are moving towards east now so from that direction we may feel that the sun moon and these are all appearing from east because of that reason we say the sun is rising in the east that is the logical way okay and even all these set in the west already we know that the sun sets in the west even the moon also sets in the west okay and the sun illuminates one half of the earth at any given moment actually when the 24 hours are going on in one day one day and night is there so how it is going on half of the proportion is the night another half proportion is the day it is common suppose now we are getting daytime means our opposite proportion is night that is the common because total earth will not get at a time the sun rays because of that reason the variations we can find okay and now you can see how it is going on see the edge of the sunlit hemisphere this is the edge means totally this proportion is getting the sunlight and this is the edge of the sunlit hemisphere this is called the circle of illumination it is a great circle that means not only this half of the portion we are seeing the here it is there this circle is going on the other part of the earth also and that divides the earth into light half dark half and the light half is day and dark half is night and here you can uh, just i want to revise that when we are uh, moving the earth is moving we may feel that now you have a doubt am i correct we may feel that the earth, should, earth is rotating that much speed it is rotating why we are not feeling because when the earth is rotating the air around us the clouds the birds whatever it is there those are also moving along with the earth because of that reason we cannot feel that 
the earth is rotating and along with this all that sun no moon and these are lps you know that the first and foremost effect of the earth rotation is the daily alternation that means if we get the day immediately we get the night then again day that means the proportion whatever it is first towards uh, whatever it is towards the sun that is the day time light it is getting the light and whatever the portion it is opposite to the sun that is the night and it faces the moon of course moon also gets the reflected light from the sun okay moon is the illuminate uh, uh, luminous body it gets the lighting from the sun and that lighting it provides in the night time you know that and here so this proportion whatever it is this is circle of illumination that is dividing the day and night of course this circle is continuous only earth's rotation is going on earth may rotate from this side to that side total it continuation is there but this circle will not change this makes that earth into two halves as that day and night one important thing what would happen if the earth did not rotate on its own axis suppose the earth is not rotating on its own axis what is the main problem we get it then one portion of the earth which is front of the sun this is the front of the sun would constantly get the sun rays continuous 24 hours we get the sun rays because the earth is not rotating example okay if the earth is not rotating this proportion whatever it is uh, uh, opposite to the sun it is there that portion gets day and night 24 hours sunlight so we feel totally warm and warm hot we feel that when the opposite portion day and night it is cool so this proportion that portion whatever it is in front of the sun totally becomes hot and opposite to the sun whatever the portion is there it is totally becomes cool so it is not at all possible for the life to stay or to be continue on the earth thus because of this reason the rotation of the earth helps the entire earth to get the heat and the light on daily basis as per that only yeah actually getting the day time night time and of course because of that only night time we are taking rest otherwise full day we have to work am i correct okay so this i think so you understood this topic that is only rotation circle of illumination okay and now illumination now it is the time to go for ascent in which direction does the earth rotate it is you know that already i taught it always earth rotates okay from west to east how much time does the earth take to complete one rotation already i said you one day so what is the time you have to mention you mention that exact one and approximate approximate one also and what is the imaginary line that passes through the poles of the earth already i taught the axis which is the imaginary line that passes from the north pole to south pole what is the speed of the rotation of the earth the earth is rotating from west to east and while it is rotating how much speed it is rotating already i said taught in the lesson check it and what is the middle latitude on the earth called actually you know that the latitudes on the globe are imaginary horizontal lines among those the middle latitude is the biggest latitude just you check it of course you know that you write the answer and uh, you have to submit the assignment before 6 pm that's all for today children bye